Hello, hello. Good evening, my beautiful Population One people. I am here to do another interview. For the month of June, I'm focusing on our sandbox builders. We've got another special builder ready for you. And uh, as you guys can tell from the uh, logo, you probably already know who it is. And so, as you guys are popping into chat, I want to say hello to you, my early people. Uh, Mark Hurst, love that you're here. Ultra Brucey, hello, hello. I bet Stacy's around you watching too, isn't she? Uh, thank you so much. The only rule that I have for my viewers is that uh, you bring somebody along with you, whether it's somebody who has been here before, somebody who is supposed to be here and forgot, or somebody brand new. So if you uh, could share out the content so that we can get some um, attention seven. to our beautiful Said. sandbox builder that we're going to hey, interview my here, lurking that would be buddy. great. Hey, my lurking buddy. That's right. Thanks for showing up on both. I appreciate Ask that. Ask Clown VR. <laughs> Ask Clown. Said. Hello. What's up, Tipsy? Yeah. Okay. Mark so seven. right before I get into all the excitement, Said. I want to share one piece of personal Sharing excitement with y'all. Sharing is caring, baby. Um, today, I I knew I was going to get this, but it was going to be a little bit of time before. But uh, today, um, I had to sadly surrender a couple of my chinchillas. Um, when we lived in Minnesota, we had a basement that the chinchillas had free roam in, and um, we had uh, time and ability to handle and we moved out here to Washington where I no longer have that space available for them to run. So they are caged unless we're holding them, which I didn't think was very fair. So we made the decision, tough decision, to uh, surrender our female chinchillas today. Um, knowing that uh, Reaper and I are obsessed with pets and all kinds of different pets, um, we've kind of restricted ourselves uh, because of space. So... I got myself a new pet today. Ask Clown VR. <laughs> but it's said, in a little tiny terrarium. Oh no, that's a uh -huh, bummer. Uh-huh, I know, it was really sad. But wait till you hear what I got. Um, a green bottle tarantula. It's a Venezuelan green bottle blue tarantula. Look it up. It's beautiful. For those of you that don't like spiders, too bad. So sad. It's a beautiful creature. And hey, they take care of bugs for us, so you should like them. Anyways, uh, I got myself a little spider today. I'm excited about it. Don't have a name for it yet, but uh, let's forget about that and talk about what's important. Our interview of the evening is in this beautiful little theme park. And oh my god, there's Space a water slide. Builder. It's it's like a log ride, yeah. Said. Oh my god. <laughs> what up, T Y P S Y what and is DJ? Up? Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna drop down here. I know he's around here somewhere. Beautiful little. Oh, I see him. We're gonna go down here on the pier. We've got the beautiful sea. It's a nice evening for the interview. They've already dropped uh, the umbrellas on the tables, or some of them anyway. And we're getting over here to DJ Noel. How are Hello, you? Hello, what's up? Hello. Good, how are you? Thank you for bringing me I'm to this beautiful map. having some technical map. difficulties. Oh, no. Um, what's your technical difficulties? Are your hands stuck up at your head? I, yeah, well, I'll figure it out. Anyways, okay, welcome okay. to my map. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for having me. That's the pain we go through in these headsets and, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Thank you for uh, saying yes to having the interview. Um, I know there's such a huge group of uh, builders out there. Some of them are part of a, a bigger group. Some of them are solo builders. Some of them we know, some of them we don't know. Um, and so... It's been really hard to get everybody compiled and packed into the same uh, month. It's literally every single day. So um, I'm excited. Been busy. <laughs> I know. Uh, thankfully, I have uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday off because I am uh, traveling. So I'm going to actually go meet uh, meet up with Lester Mark Sai seven in Portland. Uh, you might know him. Um, oh yeah. shit! Yes, yes. I got a tarantula <laughs> and a corn you snake. You have a tarantula cool. too? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, you'll have to send me some pictures so, on Discord. <laughs> just gave up your chinchillas. I have two chinchillas, so I'm. You do? I'm Are they male or female? What do you yeah, have? they're both female. Both female. Okay. The names a... are Kiki and Gizmo. <laughs> Cute. We have a beige and standard gray. And uh, we have a male that's standard gray as well. We got rid of the two females. So um, 
Our male is kind of like a cat. He is, uh, he believes he's a cat, so he gets to stick around for now. <laughs> Enough <laughs> about our pets. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about your experience in Pop One and in Sandbox. Um, I'd like to get to know you a little better and start with the easy questions first. So, uh, DJ Noel, uh, where are you seven. located? Said. I am in Orange County, Heck California. Yeah. Okay. California. I am uh, originally a Cali girl, so love the Cali, love the nice. uh, West Coast. Uh, what do you do for a living? I was born and raised up. Oh, um, for a living, I am the COO for an online retailer. Okay. So that's kind of like my day job, but yep. and on the side, I do I produce music and I DJ also. Cool. DJ. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a special DJ name? Uh. So I DJ under DJ Noel B, but I produce music with my brother under uh, their group is called The Beehive. Okay. Anywhere so we can find your the, content online? Uh, we're on Spotify, on SoundCloud, on actually all streaming platforms. So it should be the and then the letter B dash hive. So that's how okay. you would find it. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, talking about Pop One, how long have you been in uh, Population One? Uh, I've been playing since the day it came out. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. It, I remember getting it in the store and I was like, oh, I have to play this game. Yeah. <laughs> Am I talking to a super sweat? I wouldn't say super sweat. I, <laughs> I'm decent, but okay. I have a good squad. So. Okay, okay. Uh, what level are you? <laughs> My level 63. 63, okay. Uh, and then uh, your gamer tag. We talked a little bit about DJ Noel, how you came up with that. Uh, any other special meanings to it? No, it's just everything on socials, everywhere I do, it's just the same. It's just easy to keep it. DJ Noel will be everywhere. So. Indeed, um, okay. Yeah. Um, do you have time to catch uh, Pop One Streamers uh, gameplay? Um, I used to watch a lot more streamers Marcus back in the day. Said, I used to stream myself like a year ago, said, uh, a okay. year or two ago. Yeah, he's super um, but then sweat. It's like LOL. a lot of work to actually set up everything and go well, on and stream. So I admire underscore. you to be able to do that said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, every day. Exactly. Um, What's up, DJ Noel? Uh, back well, in the day when I was watching a lot, I was watching like G-Man and Sparking Rabbit. Said, and, uh, okay. Hi, YA. Yeah. Some other sweats. <laughs> Sparkling Rabbit is a really good player. <laughs> and chat is calling you out and saying, yes, you are a super sweat. <laughs> super sweat. Uh, I'm going to be like slightly like damp. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so if I meet you in a lobby, you're pretty much going to take me out, but you're going to be polite about it is what you're really saying. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a polite killer. Okay, okay. <laughs> got it. <laughs> awesome. Um, like, uh, you know, you've been playing with your squad for so long. You know how to like whose role is what. So I wouldn't exactly. say myself. My stats are great, but our yeah. win rate is really good because okay. we played it well together. You know. Um, I'm not such a great player. Um, I say that. Um, I know that I'm above average, but uh, I, I compare myself to you guys. And so I, you know, because I play with sweat and they, I don't know, I guess enjoy my company. Um, but when I'm with the right group, if when I'm with the right, right squad, I am really good. Uh, when I'm with not the right squad or not a full squad, you can count me out. Or if I'm in TDM, I'm looking at the map, not the game. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that happens sometimes too, mm -hmm. especially if I go into map that I really like, like visually, like, mm -hmm. uh, like not pay attention as much as I need to. Mm -hmm. uh, so, other thing so that happens is like if same, we don't have uh, our... And we were in the same lobby this week um, where I randomly showed oh, yeah. up. Yeah, and and I was like, "What's going on in here?" And you guys were like <laughs> playing different maps, testing maps. Um, and I, I think remember... we're actually on my map for that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. Um, so, so and we'll one of the to... comments during <laughs> gameplay seven. was, "Come on, Tipsy, Said, stop looking at the map and come tipsy, help." Tipsy, Trixie, don't sugarcoat <laughs> like, it. You like, hey, what's over here? I'm like, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I can't help myself. Um, let's talk a little bit about building. How long have you been building and were you a part of the early testing? 
Um, I've been building since the first competition they had. Um, I was not part of the early testing. I know I signed up for it, but I just never heard anything. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, didn't get to get in early. Um, but once it released, I was playing around with it, and they announced like that first SGC1 contest. Yeah, cool. So I made a map for that, and um, I thought it was cool. I know half the people really hated it, half the people liked it. <laughs> okay. So um, it was like a game mode where I had all like the guns in the middle, and you kind of had to fight for that control point. Mm -hmm. um, but if you didn't know the strategy, then you know basically it could be a lop lopsided if you didn't know how to take it over. It was kind of like hunger uh, games, is so, what you're saying. <laughs> Everybody yeah, runs basically, in the middle. Basically, it was a yeah. You know, I visit that one later, but um, basically it was all like prefabs. It was all stuff that uh, I didn't use any shapes or anything. It was all stuff. So it was learning how to use the controls, um, how to move everything. And so, you know, everyone's first map is kind of just like, you know, not the best. I guess. Yeah, for sure. When you look at something like this that you've built and then you remember back to your first map, what do you think? What what word comes to mind? <laughs> um. It was hard. This is actually one of my early maps. This is like maybe my second or third one. Oh, wow. So after like... We are all high achievers one, here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely, it was a good learning experience to be able to take, you know, take things and use them maybe not in the way they're intended. Sure. You know? And uh, then I started playing around with shapes in, in this one uh, and learning how to do that. And like the more I, maps I made, like the less prefabs I started using, so... Okay. Very uh, cool. Yeah. Very talented. Um, compare Sandbox to other building games that you have played, if there are any. Um, I tried. I tried building in uh, Horizon. Okay. Um, Horizon Worlds. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the budget got eaten up so fast. Like I made a house in that in that app. And mm -hmm. it, my budget was done. And I was like, whoa, like, I could barely do anything. So that's the only thing I ever made in there. Yeah. Um, I did try building a little bit in Rec Room once. And they have some cool features, but uh, I just couldn't get the hang of it there. Okay. Any features um, that you would like but to they do pull have, over? Yeah, they have this gun you can, sh you can use. And, like, it just makes a freeform object. So... Oh. You don't have to like, draw, like it's like basically drawing an air, and then that's that's the like uh, shape that you can use and stretch I and like move. That. So like, they, yeah, be a cool feature here. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I made a DJ table that I put into my dorm room. That was in that. That was pretty cool. Uh, other than that, uh, I like this builder because it was really intuitive and easy to pick up. Like I felt like uh. Horizon and I guess Rec Room was if I just put a little more time into it, it would have probably probably would have been more intuitive. But this one okay. I felt like I picked up like pretty quickly. Okay, yeah. And you tend to lean towards things that you feel good about and you're good at, so I I get that. Um let's see. Now I see that we are at kind of the uh it's almost like Cali here. It's like Cali's pier. It's kind of very Well, I close. took like a... Uh... Inspiration from a few different peers, like Santa Monica, yeah. mm -hmm. some uh, some other like let's, some let's, other uh, ones, just bits and pieces. Yeah, let's venture around here and tell me, um, in general, like what is your inspiration for builds, and do you stick to art versus playability? What do you like to focus on? Um, I like to do both. Um, I think after this map, I really focus a lot on playability. This one, at first, I wanted to look good. And after, like, a bunch of feedback on how the map played, I did make a ton of edits over this over time to make mm -hmm. it more playable. And tell me about so this what swing I did after here. Tell me about the swing of horror. <laughs> so, so I love this ride so much, and it's a lot of fun, but I always have this, like, fear that it's going to snap off. And so I actually made my snap off, but there is a... P90 hidden there for people yeah, yeah. who are adventurous and can get to it. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Just, just something Back a little funny to put in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but usually I'll try to have an idea and I'll make it, you know, I'll map it out or draw it out what I want to happen or how I want it laid out. And mm -hmm. then as I'm building, I can make it look 
good, you know. It looks really good. Um, I am. So if you uh, if I wish you walk you through this it. one, you can actually you can you can ride this like if you walk through it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I wish you could fly diagonal. Ooh, <laughs> there's an idea. I'm gonna sit in the front, guys. Here we go. <laughs> oh, see, I am so good at missing jump pads. Somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing sometimes. That's great. Back here. That's great. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't mean to ride it again. I'm just, yeah, yeah. Give me off this ride. <laughs> Give me off. Oh. Coming back. Oh, cool. I'm having control, uh, trouble controlling my character at the mm -hmm. moment, but. Oh, this is going. another one. You you kind of nailed my favorite rides at the amusement park, man. <laughs> drop zone and you can get yep. up to the top. Uh, <laughs> and then got more weapons up there. Hey! That they stop you, yeah, right about there, and then you kind of like <laughs> pump, pump to the bottom. <laughs> okay, sorry, chat. If uh, I'm making okay, you dizzy, I'm just having fun <laughs> at the amusement park. <laughs> There's nobody here. There's no lines. I mean, it would be dumb not to take advantage, right? <laughs> I love this map. Uh, how playable is it? Have you uh, brought people in here? Does it play? Um, I think it's played a lot of rounds on this one. Uh, I think it's playable now. I think before I didn't have these storm drains in any. Okay. Are they here. So, but food? what would happen is uh, oh. one team would spawn on the beach and one would be inside and they would get annihilated crossing the street or by snipers. Mm -hmm. I get that. So I ended up adding these so that they can get in behind the team into the map. Yeah. So okay. they could cover the street, but if they weren't covering the holes too, they were going to get you know, basically annihilated from behind. Uh huh. Okay. So good. So it allowed uh, them three way, three ways in to the map that's not crossing the street where they're exposed. Yeah. But if they're covering this now, the street is more like crossable, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I love the use of uh, the pop and chicken theme park here. It's it's really fun. I love it. <laughs> Except for that swing up there. That's that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we'll make sure we get you a one that works. Right, right, please. <laughs> I'll take the inside, inside. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. We're going to talk a little bit about the learning curve. Um, this is, I mean, learning curve for you seems to be fairly steep, uh, fairly easy for you. If this is like second or third map. So tell me what the uh, learning curve, like, tell me what that looks like for you. Um, for me, it was like really, once I got a handle on the controls, is like, okay, what do they have? And what can I do with it? And mm -hmm. like, I think for me, it's these earlier maps took a ton of time. I think this one, I was in here for like a week straight for six hour sessions and like uh, just making this and this. And after that, once it was published and testing and just making tweaks to it. But yeah. I think for me, the learning curve was how can I do what I'm doing faster? I ended up becoming a really, like I ended up posting a map every week for like 12 weeks straight after the contest. Sheesh okay <laughs> after that point so like just getting really efficient like uh because for me it's like a race against time if i if i'm spending too much time on a map i'm if i hit like maybe the 30 hour mark i don't want to be in it anymore <laughs> you know okay. so i'm trying to finish it before that that so like uh, i don't get tired of being in this place yeah I and then like it's more fun to just play on it. And yeah? i'm like i'm done <laughs> i can't do it anymore <laughs> well it's kind of like uh, like when I produce music, it's the same thing. Like if I'm okay. listening to the same song like, for like a week straight, and you're like, because you're, you're playing it back everywhere in your headphones yeah. in your car, back and making tweaks, and like by the end of a certain time, you're tired of this song. You have to get it done before before you're before you get tired of it, right? Yeah. Uh, so kind of the same thing with the map. Like visually, like I've I've been in here for like 30 hours already, and like I'm kind of getting to the point where like I maybe I, I don't totally make this thing that. look as good so just I can finish it yeah yeah <laughs> so um just how can how can I be the most efficient when I'm building so I think that was mostly like make my learning curve like mm -hmm. after getting map to map is just being more efficient I guess okay uh and then uh why do you think other people should explore sandbox um why should all these new players from free to pop and all of our existing older OGs why play in sandbox? Why play in builder? Um, it sounds like 
from what I'm reading a lot, a lot of the OGs aren't happy with like the current rotation of maps, like mm-hmm. especially taking away the evolving map. Like, uh, you know, I've been playing a long time, but I love sandbox. I love being able to go in and and keep it fresh. It's like it's a good warm up. Uh, I think also it helps your squad game. Mm-hmm. Like in TDM, like it can be so chaotic, and you're facing two or three people at once. And then once you get to squads and you face, it's sometimes you're looting and you're separated from your team. You encounter three people, you can handle that a lot better than if you weren't in TDM practice, you know? Yeah. So I absolutely. do think it does help your Battle Royale game going in here and warming up and getting used to guns or situations where you have to fight more than one person. Okay. So, you know, and doing it in different environments, people make some really cool stuff. Like uh, so many different yeah. maps that are Why like, not just enjoy different. the scenery, it right? The... Why not be wowed? Uh, enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Yeah. In game fresh. Mm hmm. Yep. Have a little break Um, from it. So, yeah. That's what I think about why people should come in here. Well, we're at the Builder 101 part of the interview. I would like you to teach me something, Uh, whether that's uh, building something or something with the controls. I would like to learn something new as a builder. Um, What are you going to learn today? We're going to learn some of the texture manipulation, I guess we can say. Ooh, so, okay. Um, All right. Teach me. Oh, if I can get my control straight, I'll bring you a mm-hmm. block here. Okay. Um, okay, so we only have a limited amount of textures to use. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can get these textures to look different based on how you scale them. So, like, like this one... You know, depending on how you scale it, you can get a different look on it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I'm going to use my, a different one my that, quick that keys I, if I can I remember them here. Nope, that's multi-select. <laughs> nope, that's not. Oh, that's rotate. Don't look at me, guys. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at me. I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm on snap. You guys are going to be like, oh, God, Tipsy's building again. Look away. Everybody, look away. <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> All right, I wanna find one that. Uh... Okay, okay, I can do this one. Why am I still on Snap? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so, like, give me an example of a, a, like a. a can't think here a texture that uh you could use as one thing and use the same texture and make it look like something different so usually like let's say this texture if you expand it you're going to get all this blank space in here uh-huh uh so i want to repeat this and make this look like another texture a lot of times i'll take something and take an isolated part of it and just copy them yeah. so i can get something that looks like this instead right yeah um another like you know if i want a textured wall or something that's not not so plain i can do something like this um and also like for consistency within your maps like sometimes i come into a map and then you have someone that's like not lined up Mm -hmm. (laughs) um like you can make your all your textures like line up as long as you're skewing them a certain way. So like these, like if you go this way, you're always going to keep that bottom part. Yep. Static, right? Um, but if you turn this around, whoops, and you start scaling it, then you're going to get a different piece of that moving each time. So. Yeah. Depending on what part you want to keep is is when I turn the, the turn the direction of it. I'll show you in a different map later, like where I had to do a lot of this and make sure oh, it was turned before cool. I built because I want to keep I wanted to keep the look consistent between the whole map because if you don't have it turned the right way, you're going to be getting these structures where it's not lined up. Yeah. So just we're, you know, we're an OCD identifying which part you want to keep. Walk up to it and be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's not really like teaching some how to build something per se, but like when yeah. you're using your different textures, like right, use what say, you this have is like to something make that things new. There's a new texture that uh, Cowbell was working with. 
Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, he was, it, whoops. It was this texture, right? But, oh my god, my controller is like freaking out. <laughs> Uh, let's try again. Okay. So this texture, if you extend it, you can go as brick, but what he did was just use this part so he can get this kind of texture repeated and use it like on a floor yes, or something. Yes, I get it. Okay. So like, it's, but if you were to just expand this, then you can go as brick, but you mm-hmm. know, you can isolate parts of a texture that you want to use and then copy it or stretch it or. I yeah. love that okay and yeah i would have never thought of something so simple um maybe because i make things complicated all on by myself but uh this is a really handy tool (laughs) i like that and it's uh different shapes too like depending on the shape like there's some of the triangles skew it different uh things like a little weird Mm -hmm. and so sometimes you can play you can play with that and like get a texture that looks cool or a color you know and you know It'll use it in a creative way where it's not really a texture that was meant to be used that way, but mm-hmm. you know, give your map a little different look that, than what someone else has. Yeah. Yeah, and I know I've come across uh, many different things that you guys have built. Uh, builders have explored with these different options that to create something totally different out of a texture. So um, I love the talent yeah. that comes out of this. <laughs> you guys are like every day you're like, oh my god, you won't believe what I figured out. <laughs> <laughs> I made the entire <laughs> construction building into a cup. <laughs> Watch this. Like, <laughs> magic. Gosh. Yeah, okay. sometimes I walk around and seeing what people have done as far as, like, texture manipulation. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so creative to use it in mm-hmm. that way. And, like, so I'm always trying to think of ways, like, to expand our, you know, our texture library uh, by using them differently. Exactly. Awesome. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and do some of your uh, map travels, uh, some of your map titles. And uh, let's also, while you, while we're doing this, I'm going to ask you for your favorite map that you've built and your biggest fail or blooper or something about the map that just didn't work out. So I'm going to be looking for those. So uh, where do you want to um, go first? So take you to I guess my favorite map or I say this one is tied for my favorite just because I spent I did spend a lot of time in here and it was like you know not a recreation everything but Mm -hmm. I guess I can load I have a I guess I have a bunch of favorites this is one of them uh I love Resident Evil so much so it's like one of my favorite games I do too I can't wait (laughs) so I know where we're going um, I have two I have two Resident Evil maps but I'll take you to my favorite one okay Uh, (laughs) <laughs> of the two. Yes. <laughs> We're here at so I wanted, City. <laughs> so I <laughs> basically made the police department and I was thinking, can I make the whole thing like a map? But after thinking about it, I it wasn't a good idea playability-wise. Mm-hmm. So I... And it's mostly true to the original, you know, uh, original place, but I did make some playability changes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the main, you know, the main area. Uh, mm-hmm. And this, this is, like this is so my cool. Resident Evil maps are the only ones that have secrets in them, too. <laughs> oh, good, because I do ask about secrets too. So we'll just go ahead and ask that uh, question. See. <laughs> I love places yeah, that um, have uh, secrets and hidden weapon stashes and blah, yada, 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 yada. Show me one. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get my controllers to move again. Okay, okay, okay. in here. See it? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can stay away from the evil creatures in here. <laughs> and this is before the letters came out, but it's just a stash of weapons and healing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what color is this but beauty I always right here? People... It, they're, they're red. This one's okay. red, and everything yeah. else is gold in here, I think, okay, I believe. Okay. Um, like but no one really knows to go in here, even though you can see, like, the texture different you on can. this side and, yeah. on the other, and on the other side, too. So if people wander in there, they can get in. But uh, no one really does. I never found anyone except there. me in there. <laughs> okay, okay. 
uh, <laughs> over here we got like the you know the office. Mm-hmm. Uh, the helicopter crash outside. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> nice. I like the broken wall here. <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> We've got the fire inside. <laughs> um, yeah, I tried to make the broken stuff look good, but I think like... Mm -hmm. uh, Dirty Monkey makes really good, like, broken stuff, and I think in Taffy's last one, too. I I like it all. I can't do it, so I think it all looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have the library over here, which I really love. Yes. This almost feels a uh, Beauty and the Beast, even. <laughs> 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 totally. <laughs> Very nice. I mean... Okay, I know it's a lot of, like, copy, 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 but uh, there's an insane number of books in here, you guys. <laughs> and uh, is a lot of this I see, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so a lot of this is, like, make one row Earthful. of books and then copy and paste them. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then I would change the texture and then some of, like, the leading and then copy that. So there's, like, mm -hmm. five different rows of books here. There's different okay. textures and then copied over. Yep. And then your uh, basic and then encyclopedias. These are just textures. <laughs> it's like the, yeah. The so basically, it's just right like here. a <laughs> texture with a trim on it to make it look like a book. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, and then we have an upstairs as well that also uh, he created a ladder for. A lot of fighting. A lot of the fighting ends up going up on the on the roof. Oh. Okay. Okay. Instead of inside. You end up fighting. Instead of inside, it does happen inside, like especially mm -hmm. at the start, but a lot of the time it ends up being up here on the roof. Uh, okay. Two sides fighting each other. And there's like a gold op on this tower and a gold op over here. And so it's like a, you know, you have cover in, on both sides. And then you can drop in through these, through these uh, windows at the top. And then. And you've chosen the, uh, the moon map. And built the city around it and built it above the moon, right? So that you can get the night sky. Okay. Very cool. The night sky and then I'm always like i I'm always like wondering how I'm gonna close the map off and make it look mm -hmm. good, but I mean I've reused this same closing off in uh in other maps too, just like buildings around it that are yeah, just I like it. Beautiful night sky things. in the city. Yeah. And this is a uh, uh, great I guess continuing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you to my other Resident Evil map. Yeah. Yay. I love your windows, too. Which is uh, in honor of RE4 remake that just came out. Uh, where is it? As you guys are popping in a chat, make sure you guys are finding somebody to share the content with to get some attention here in our sandbox builds. Uh, we are here interviewing our DJ Noel, and uh, he's about to show me another one of his awesome maps. Here we go, guys. <laughs> this feels like the game. Uh, this is the, uh, basically the village you have to go fight, fight in the beginning. You can, can I, get I in guess, the door, fly through or it. Should I just fly through it? Okay, I didn't know if it was like. Just a fly through it. Yeah. Yeah, this is just like oh, the, no. the actual VR game yeah. that I played like two minutes of, and I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of the iconic locations in that game. So mm -hmm. you know, at the yeah. very beginning, of the fight through all this mob over here. So it's mm -hmm. pretty true to layout like crazy villagers. and the interiors. <laughs> crazy villagers. We got. Uh, there's some secrets in here. Too, and follow me. Yeah. And then through this wall, there's. Woo! Uh, the yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you a fan of the P90? I'm. I'm noticing a lot of um, P90s. <laughs> you can tell what gun I'm using at the time <laughs> by okay. what is in my map. So at the time of making this, I was a P90. And uh, right now I'm, I'm uh, back on the MP5. Okay. So. Alright. Yeah. So God, this, this is, is awesome. yeah more Resident <laughs> Evil. <laughs> mm 
Nice work. This is but like it, definitely it reminds uh, me so much of the map. game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I took like so many screenshots going back and forth between this and mm -hmm. like the game and then I think this uh, is when the remake just came out. I went into this house, <laughs> I looked out this window, and I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well there is like fifty villagers trying to kill you at this point once exactly. you get in here. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Over the chainsaw it comes at you. Mm hmm uh, Yeah. Not pleasant. Awesome, but not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a blooper. Let me think of a blooper. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna say my a blooper, but I can take you to my first map that like you know yes. it was I love that half maps. the people hated. Can I go in here? No, I can't go in here. Okay. Lady underscore gaming up, underscore lady? one. Hello. Said. Sorry, I'm late. Oh no worries, you're here. I don't mind that you're late. You're here. <laughs> All right, we're looking at a first map that I'm probably gonna be like, this is your first, are you serious? It's nice. You should see my first map. It's like three it's... blocks and a banana. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say first map as far as playability goes. I, mm -hmm. I think, you know, if you come over to the middle, you'll see like the, the load of guns and <laughs> grenades in here. Okay. Yeah. So More basically, if, if it, it's a race, it's, it's exact Thanks for subscribing. Uh, to the middle. Like the jump pads are lined up exactly, so that both teams mm -hmm. can arrive to the middle at the same exact time. I like that. Um, yes. But if one did <laughs> one did take it over, then you know you have to take it from them. But yeah. I mean, there is a strategy <laughs> to take it over, but if you can figure it out. But uh, what ended up happening is I just ended up opening up the whole map because it was a very skinny like zone where it was like only came out like up to here. Yeah. Okay. And so now people now are just open. to go all the way out to the hills and things like that. And there's lady and there's underscore here, gaming so underscore one from yeah, this point. Yeah. Said. Okay. Love um, but you, basically, this you. is all almost 100% like prefab stuff, and okay. I just like used it in a different way, like the radio tower for the things. Uh, there's a pole that's in there, I guess, and mm -hmm. you know, made a bridge out of it. Very smart. Thanks, lady, for that sub. I appreciate you. I miss you. <laughs> uh, as far as like, <laughs> nice I guess bloopers map, go. This fun. Uh, one more question. In terms of the water, do you sink and you okay? You sink and you die. Okay. Dies, you like die slowly, know. so you have time. You have time to get lady out and climb out. Gaming you underscore one. can't hide in under there. Said. Um, and then I think Text you know, me later, one of the feedback was it was tea. too big with this bottom side open, so I closed it off. Okay. Yeah, I I hate double um like, I guess I, what are these called double decker bridges? I hate yeah. double decker bridges. Hate them. I hate bridges to begin <laughs> with. <What? laughs> I don't know. I have why, any why do you hate here. double decker bridges more? It's kind of like squid. No. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I've I always just... had a fear of, not a fear, but um, it does freak me out because I remember growing up as a kid, there was in the Bay Area, the Bay Bridge had that collapse. Yes. yes. On the earthquake. And then there was like a part that was going down from the upper deck, and I saw a car go over the edge like, yes. on TV. And I'm like, that's I so freaky. That <laughs> I think that's where it comes from. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you see all these movies that, like, they, you know, they do skits off of it because it's happened. And so now they have the content to build a movie off of it. I mean, even like shows like. Grey's Anatomy did an earthquake and a double decker bridge collapsing. I'm like, ah, oh, no, make it stop. Maybe I should, do... <laughs> Maybe I should make it collapse in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, you could. That would be kind of cool. Oh, excuse me, chat. Excuse me. Who's making me fart? Come on, Weller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to explore maybe a, a, a blooper, maybe, yeah? Or the, close, um, the closest thing you can consider. <laughs> well, usually for me, I do like just work on like one map and then finish it. So, okay. like, as far as like bloopers go, I only have like. Okay, well, I do have a blooper, I guess. There's not barely anything in this map. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll that's anyways. a blooper. Let's go. <laughs> so you did answer the question on if you like to build one map or several at a time. You kind of like to build one at a time. 
Um, I've yeah, got one. I, I can't focus on another map until I finish the other one. Okay. All right. Um, and I like to ask that question okay. because sometimes you lose in inspiration and you need to kind of like start something different, start start something fresh. But uh, well, a one oh seven underscore for me, I get <laughs> a little obsessed, so I need to like Mrs. Like, I, can't, made I need to get do it, it done and out of my head she before just I can give to attention hear to another the map. Fart you know? sound. Okay, and okay. this is the one of the only we maps I ever abandoned. So I was gonna make the whole Santorini here. like mountainside. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I was starting. And so I made this first building and I looked at how much space was left and I was like, nope, I don't want to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> I, get I was it. like, I, I know what's it. gonna take and I saw the picture that was on my computer. I saw that this and I was like, Okay, I just made one building and I'm looking at this whole mountainside and I'm picturing it. I'm like, I'm not gonna finish this no way. and it's yeah, gonna yeah. be a pain and I'm gonna be over budget and it's gonna be laggy. I'm like uh -huh. I'm just gonna leave this one building here and <laughs> maybe I'll come back to it one day, but I don't think I am. Well, Wellers, what does this look like on your big screen? <laughs> Thanks, Miss Weller, for the uh, the fart. Please uh, enjoy the farts as many times as you would like. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, let's let's see. Um, has Big Box ever uh, like published your maps or given you special attention to any of your builds? Yeah. So the Resident Evil one that we went to the yep. the was it that both of them actually have been featured on some sort of list um mm -hmm. the res, the was it the police department that yep. was on like when the feature list i think some of the top I think feature, super yep. hot made it i'll take you on to another one that was featured on like an adventurous list or something i think well a 107 okay. underscore and how many maps Said, do you have total don't tempt her with a good so, time I have 16 maps uh, okay. published, but so before they uh, before they up the limit on how many maps you can make, I had already filled up my space, so I got a Steam account and made more maps on that account. Yes, so smart. I actually had to go <laughs> copy five of those over to this account uh, yesterday to bring them over so we can go to them. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to visit them. Yep. But move. <laughs> uh, this is a super hot map that um actually did my own shadows for and yes, this is like the VR game super hot. Okay. So I took like a, three of the areas, four of the areas in there, and I put it all together because there's not really a map to follow there. I just took areas from or levels from that game and then kind of made my own map out of it. Mm-hmm. I love this shatter right here. Nice. I wish I could make, uh, you know, the, the guys look a little bit better, but I just don't, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, uh, there's some people, some builders who make really good, like, sculptures and figures mm -hmm. and live things. I can't, it's not my strength at all. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. I can't do it. Uh, but I can definitely do the shatter. <laughs> this is cool. I'm sorry, maybe I jumped ahead, but I just went down a level, and it's like a, a little game room or something. Yeah. I to get there, but my controller is not, oh, there we go. Okay. okay. Uh, so this was the challenging part as far as the shadows goes. Mm -hmm. This took me a while to get right. Um, but yeah, wow. down here, there's also a bar over here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I mean, nobody thinks of this when you're, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still stuck on the shadows. When you're playing this game, it's not crossing your mind how it may have taken you time well, to create a 107 this. underscore. This is cool. Well, Set. I had a challenge with this map because it's so white and bright. I needed to cut when it I saw somehow. this map. And, and so I knew I was like, okay, I can I do my own shadows it. on it. Mm -hmm. And I was you like, right before I did, I was like, on this do I really want to do this? I know once I do it, I'm gonna have to do it on Jay consistently the throughout the map, and I don't yeah. know if I want to. Okay. But I did it on Hello. one window. I was like, I guess I'm committed. So I think it did help in cutting the white. There's so much white in this map. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And part of like you know a super hot like look is the shadows in that the well, shadowing with the white. So I had to, kind of had to do it. Right. Yeah. You can see Said. in the hallway over here. So dope! You made your own like shadows. The shadowing really cuts up like this area a bit. Broken glass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, I like it. Okay, we're going to bar, bar. bar over here. Uh huh. I hear uh, the Jayma builders the like the bars. King. So uh, said. While we're here, I have an important <laughs> it question looks to ask nice. you. <laughs> uh, okay. When you're building, do you like to enjoy a special tasty beverage or uh, music? What do you like to do when you're building? Drink, listen to music, build with um, others. I so most of the time I build alone. Um, every once in a while, one of my squad mates will come and hang out right here with me. Okay. Uh, Nam, he'll like just hang out and keep me entertained. But yep. for the most part, this is kind of like meditative for me. Uh, I don't like I tell myself to put music or podcasts on, but like when it's just quiet, I, there's no one here. Mm -hmm. I can just build and like I'm not thinking about anything outside of like pop. You know, it's like. It's very like uh, therapeutic, I guess. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you something freaky though. <laughs> uh, uh oh. There's not so, ghosts in this map, are there? <laughs> well, I, you know, so I'm, I like building when it's quiet and when like there's not anyone in here. My, I have my room closed most of the time, and like all the time, unless I invite somebody. Mhm. Mm um, but. There's been three or four occasions where I've heard someone breathe on the other end, and then like, and then the sound of them taking their headset off, and then it cuts, and then like, it freaks me out every time. It's happened like three or four times. I don't know what it is. I've asked everyone else if if it's happened to them, but no one else has had that happen. It's really I don't know what it is or <laughs> where it's coming from. <laughs> Yeah. It's scary though. It's, I ripped my headset off. I'm uh, like, okay, yeah. I'm thinking a break for about uh -huh. 20 minutes, and then uh -huh. I'm gonna come back. Yeah, it, it's like uh, somebody yeah. is like completely connecting into like, oh god, that's super creepy. Uh, whether you like, think it's like, like super someone was like watching what I was or... doing, yes, then yes. they're leaving, and then yeah. they take you know take their heads off. I could hear uh -huh. them breathe, and then the headset comes off, and oh, then the sound cuts like immediately. No. I'm like, no, nope. like, no, nope. okay, it's, it's time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in a map in VR, uh, you're looking around and you're like, Where where did that come from? <laughs> oh it's very no. it's very disturbing every every time. Yeah. yeah. So uh I told Arms Reach that story and he was happened? like He's like, thanks for putting that fear into my head that I didn't have before. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It it makes me like okay. It makes me like tilt off my headset and just kind of look in my in my house real quick. Oh my god, no! Uh, there's uh, <laughs> one one other side to this. Okay. Uh, area. Oh, crashing. And so this is where the other team comes in. It's like you know more of like a battle arena on this side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and you know another broken area where you can come through. Mhm. Mm nice. This is cool. I like and the then, representation of another game like this. It seems to be, uh, you know, my question about inspiration. Uh, you find your inspiration in other games often. Yeah, so the Resident Evil ones, I have this one. Um, and then I'll load a different map that um, okay. is basically... Yeah, I have a lot of recreations or inspiration from other games. So this one was like a Quake uh inspired map i uh let's go there mm -hmm. as he hears the shift in the heavy breath on his shoulder <laughs> <laughs> oh <my Ew>. God. <laughs> another work free i know some of, the, uh, <laughs> some of the people you interviewed also had quake style maps so it was off that website where you have a bunch of maps that are from that so I know Weller had reached out and said, hey, you should, you know, we're a bunch of us are making quick maps. You should pick one. And so I was like, oh, let me try it. It'd be a good challenge. Yeah. And uh, I picked this one. It's like a, like a jail. I guess it's supposed to be a jail, like a sci-fi mm -hmm. jail. Mm -hmm. So this is my entry in the Quake playlist, I guess. Ooh, I could see myself playing in here. This one is very chaotic. And hectic. <laughs> Are there any um, but, secret walls in this one? Not in this one. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, are these the cells? The cell blocks in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's the one you that's breathing there. on you. Creepy. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. And there's another cell block up here. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll take you to the other side. Uh, so this is like one one team side, and then the other team is coming on this side, basically. Weller one o seven underscore said. It's like a little boiler Quake room area. maps are the new meta. Now, when you say Quake map, what does that mean to somebody who has no clue what Quake means? Quake map. So, Quake is like a first-person shooter. Like that was, I guess, I'd come out after Doom. It's like when okay. I was growing up, I was playing Quake and Doom, and so, um, you know, it's basically one of the first like. You know, first-person shooters that were we were playing as kids. So, yeah, uh, okay. you know, those maps had a certain style to them. You know, a big open main room area and a bunch mm -hmm. of side areas. So, uh, this is actually the room yeah. I started making first because it's it started spawning me here on the computer in this room. And I should have started with that main room we were in, but yeah, yeah. eventually built to the main room. But this is the area I started building first. I like your floors. Uh, that's I love the fact that it looks like you know you're walking over glass and over the main frame of the building, so to speak. Weather one o seven underscore. Like it. Said. Okay. Yeah, give some depth to ID the ID software floor, I guess. made and then Wolfenstein. This, the hardest and part about and Quake, I guess, and so this on. map. Is this groove? I didn't need to do this groove, mm -hmm. but I had this groove uh, in and having it turn, but also lining up with the ceiling groove. That was like, yeah. uh, I don't know why I did this. Very <laughs> it was a no, lot of work, it, but there's like a but it, it to paid it. off. Well, though, I think visually. Underscore. Yeah. Said. Well, Tell DJ, as, as far I'm as glad a, uh, he kept like a cell that block thick and stuff, you know, what it makes in me think room. of is if there's, if this is sci-fi, if there's ever a flood or, you know, human feces that you need to yeah. spray down with the hose, this is the, <laughs> the, the grave. Uh, you, know, you don't want to be down in there in the This is easy to clean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, All right, I'm supposed to tell so you that, DJ uh, underscore uh, that Weller is underscore. glad that you kept the thick Said. hand rail in that Hey, room. Tipsy. Yeah. Have you seen this it. kind of uh -huh. detail? So Weller was in maps. here taking a look at the progress of it. and I, You know how spears and cylinders are, you know, take, more expensive in the budget? Yes. So I was like, maybe I should change these out to the... <laughs> to the... The thinner? You know the squares or like uh -huh, the yeah. cubes, but came in here and goes. This feels really solid, and you gotta keep yeah. this. I'm like, okay, so I end up keeping the round ones in here. Mm -hmm. But I like this them. one, they they add like a, its own little keeping. visual texture to the room. So yeah, I like that. All right, and um, but a different else? map that okay. is also um is inspired from something else. Uh, have you ever played that game, uh, Clash of Clans, on your phone? Uh, uh, yes, I have. Not very often. I have yes. loaded it and tried it and played it for a few weeks and then uninstalled. <laughs> I'm kind of a slot o maniac. That's where we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, AJ? Have I seen the kind of detail? in other maps yes that's what i'm doing my interviews on right now is all of our uh known sandbox builders they're bringing me into some of their maps and kind of talking about their experience in sandbox teaching me holy sh teaching me things now there's no way i'm ever <laughs> gonna learn anything like this but uh yeah i am i'm the person that plays in a map aj that uh, can't pay attention because i'm looking at details so Yes, I noticed the details, DJ. So I like the spawning. I like coming, this. like coming onto yeah. this uh, cliff and then coming yeah. over and seeing the what whole I just did. village. It, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> this is so freaking so, colorful and fun." <laughs> so basically, I took the, you know the right amount of buildings and everything that was in the actual game, and I mm -hmm. recreated it and made a made a simple layout map of it. AJ um, underscore. Yeah. Problem is, like, it does get a little laggy on the quest. Said. To stand alone and on, I know on PC it runs fine. On so level. I'm this one didn't really gain that much traction. It's a lot of fun to play on because mm -hmm. it's really small and chaotic. And there's a lot of you know like in the game there's like spring traps and these will launch you across the map. 
but everything's pretty, you know, true to detail on here. I had mm-hmm. to simplify it a lot to fit Tell budget, me but I'm hoping the quest when the quest three comes out that this month AJ will run underscore seventy four underscore. <laughs> Tell me, what is the Said, uh, Nam June? Uh, this is, that is a different shout from out? other builders. Okay. So I did a sh- some shout outs in here. Um uh, for the people who helped me play test this originally. So okay. I have Nam June in here. Uh-huh. Arms Reach, Roger uh-huh. Dodger, I like pies. Yeah. And there's a random kid who ended up into our room, uh, uh-huh. and he just he, he didn't mean to join, but he came in and helped us play Red test Flame. Red Flame VR. So, uh huh. Um, so those are the shout outs. I put them in the little nice. in these uh, gold storages. Okay. okay, this is a cool little map. This is super colorful too. I like color. Um, I like the use of purple too. And it actually looks like an amusement park. If you're way up high, it <laughs> looks like an amusement park. <laughs> actually, what someone else said is like, is it because they're looking at the thumbnails? Like, is it the Clash of Clans that looks like an amusement park? I'm like, yep, that's the one. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Very cool. Um. Yep. Uh, load another map. That's the inspiration from somewhere else. <laughs> okay. I love these. Um, and then uh, what kind of feedback do you like when you're having us, you know, play test these things? Uh, what are you looking for in terms of feedback? Um, I like, I don't know if you can hear me. Do I... Yes, I can. <laughs> for a moment till it blacks us out. Back on, <laughs> on how it plays, like, uh-huh. especially like spawn points and where, you know, like the playability part of it. Um, Obviously, I like if something, like, there's people who pointed out certain textures that were flickering, overlapping, like, even, uh, you know, in my, in my prison map that we were just at, arms uh-huh. was spent, an, arms reach spent, like, an hour and a half fixing the flicker in that room. Okay. Because I, I'm building on PC, and I can't do that one on standalone, because it's on my Steam account, so I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't see the flicker, but he's on, he's on standalone, so he... Spent an hour and a half to fix it, and God bless his soul, because I couldn't do <laughs> you it. You figured it out? Okay, okay. So he came, he came in there, and like after he thought he was done, he'd see another one, and then we fix it. But uh, yeah, feedback, I like, you know, when things are glitchy or if there's a, something wrong in the map, I like knowing if the spawns are good, if the travel speed's good. Like, just mm-hmm. if people, like, have fun on it, and so I can make it so it's, you know, p- playable. This is fun. This what is happening here? Copy. Oh my god, yes. So, I don't know if you've ever been in Horizon Venues, <laughs> but Horizon Venues, uh, this is what it looks like in there. Okay. So basically, <laughs> in Horizon Worlds, there's Horizon Venues where you can watch yep. different things. Like, you can watch different shows, go to different worlds, different maps. And so I thought it would be a good place to put, like, people's maps and feature okay. them on different signs. And just, like, it was like a playlist that I was keeping before playlists were a thing yet so i've only been you know, I've in have, uh, uh, taffy dragon on here mm-hmm. i've only been in horizons yeah, when i'm invited monkey. to like a private party so uh yeah <laughs> i haven't actually seen this if, we go, if you ever go into horizons uh into horizon venues then you'll see uh-huh. like this area and okay. um one thing i did in here like i have it in my uh in my pop and chicken pier map, but in here too, I do intentional glitches. Uh huh. To make, make it look, look like you know, make it look the water's moving. Yeah, I learned that yeah. trick in one of my recent interviews as well. Yes. And these you can go through the doors. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, one one quick uh, notation here. By I like pies. I totally knew it was her. I, you could hide I like pies, and I could have told you who this was about. Dueling Peaks is from Zelda, <laughs> just so you guys know. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> That's such a great map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So there's a whole like underground section here. Oh my. Let me see where you're at. So okay, over here. So when you go into venues, you can go into theaters and watch stuff. But this one is just a little pathway to the other side of the map. Yes. Okay. Or oh, that's the wrong way. Come on, Tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It made me think of, uh, you know, when you're young and you're trying to sneak into the theaters instead of pay. <laughs> I thought you found me the back door <laughs> to the theaters. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I this looks fun. I like this. Um, <laughs> Confetti. I'm <laughs> just basically the the guy who like kind of brought me into the, the community. Like he, I know he was vouching for me and my maps because before uh -huh. I kind of even knew anybody. Mm -hmm. And he had actually spent some time in my maps with me and talked to me. And he's like, hey, there's a bunch of us that actually make maps and stuff. And so he kind of, like, introduced me to that group. And then Weller mm -hmm. reached out to me, and uh, too. So I have Weller. I have my own booth over for him, too, over yep, here. I saw that. Yeah. Very nice. You know, everyone has their own sign in here somewhere. Ask More cowbell. Ask, Ask Clown. Clown. Mm -hmm. Space mm -hmm. Team. Nice uh, shout outs here. I, I like the shout outs. Those are cool. Nice recognition to a, a great group of people that are uh, great builders in the game for sure. All right. More questions for you, though. We're not going to let you off the hook. <laughs> yeah. More questions. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're doing some map surfing and uh, we've talked a little bit about, um, you know, sandbox and your experience. What things would you like to see added to sandbox to make it easier for you to build or to function in the game or even like an artistic choice. Let me to take us here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't want to play. You guys don't want to see that. <laughs> no one wants to see that. <laughs> um... Hmm. I meant to take us to a different map. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> Them all at once. There we go. So, um, this is another inspiration from something else, which uh -huh. from uh, Game of Thrones. Yep, this is the one that um, I wandered into and was um, deciding, oh, yeah. I was actually, before playing this week with you, I wandered in here because I love Game of Thrones. And uh, I was like, ooh, this might be a good map for a streamer interview. And then I realized who made it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be interviewing him in his own map that I want to be in. So like, this is also one of the maps awesome. we played this week that I got yelled at to pay attention, to stop looking at the details and pay attention uh -huh, to the game. So... Um, this is a freaking awesome map. Like, how on point? Uh, tell me about this one. So, uh, this one I had wanted to make Winterfell, and I thought it was going to be really hard, but luckily there's a model on Sketchfab that someone made of the whole thing. Mm hmm So, with that, you're able to walk through the whole model in 3D. Or basically, uh, like on your you can computer. watch the intro so, over and over again, and... <laughs> That too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's so hearing the music that, in their head right to... now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. Uh -huh. um, so be able, be able to walk through the whole map and make all the buildings as best I could uh, and still keep it. I mean, I guess the budget is fine on this one. That my, oh, it's 99.6, so it did end up being a big budget. But, uh, yeah, this one was fun. It was uh I'm still missing a couple parts to this, like the crypts underground. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay, where did I the boy get pushed from the day. tower? Which tower? I'm pretty was sure it was back. Might have been Which one of these back is? areas. Okay, okay. I'm just curious. Oh, maybe, maybe this one. Um. <laughs> Where are you? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Feature was being able to select multiple things at once and texture them at the same time. That's mm -hmm. my. I would love that so much if we were able to do that. Um, sometimes I'm like I model the whatever I'm making and like the basic texture that it starts out with, mm -hmm. and I don't always. Uh, color it first before I copy and stretch and you know afterwards I have everything I want and then I'll texture it but yeah I stopped to suck you know all 10 12 pieces and then texture them individually when I would just rather group it and texture it at once 
Um, that would be know, what else that would have to and... be cool in this map is the crunch of snow. It used to have it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. What during uh during their season like, or when did they have the crunch of? I snow? feel like they changed some of the sounds. Like before, like they would have like the, depending on what you're walking on, you'd have a different mm -hmm. sound. But I feel like some of that's changed. I don't know if that's true. All right, and uh, there's spawn points up here on the dragons. Tell me about because uh, we so spawned this is the battle rail region. Oh, okay. I have two versions of this map. So the TDM is just a center area. Mm -hmm. It's closed off. Um, but the Battle Royale, there's actually spawn points on both dragons. So you start up okay. at the top and drop. Love that. Uh, another quick question for you. Um, I noticed something peculiar to me was uh, the stone over here by the tree. How did you get this artwork on this stone? Where did this come from? Um, the artwork is part of one of the stones that you can select. It is. On there okay. already. So. Okay. Yeah, so you can select that. Um, it's under decor, I think. Let me see. Yeah, under decor, there's the ro uh, runestone large and runestone small. So they already have art on it. Okay. Very cool. I never noticed it before. So when I saw it, I was like, wait a second. And then I was trying to look for extra pieces in here. I'm like, no way did he build all that. <laughs> okay, okay. I oversimplified. <laughs> Uh, All right. I'm going to show you one other Battle Royale map I made yep. that got featured when Battle Royale was a thing, but they took it away. So. Okay. Uh, and just so we all know, this is the tree that the uh, Ice King, the, the Ice Guy got killed, right? He came out one of these doors I and he got so. killed over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Making sure I know my stuff. <laughs> 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 Thank you for joining so this me my on first Facebook attempt. and Twitch, guys. Uh, we are I'm wrapping at the map. end here. And uh, we're looking at another one of DJ's maps. Ooh, so okay. my challenge here was to make a battle royale and have four separate sectors that were different from each other. So I have okay. like a ghost town, a, cam yep. a camping VR area, uh, RV area. I have a prison on this side. And then like a military air base where the ufos are okay kind of like an alcatraz huh yeah kind of alcatraz over here mm -hmm. there's like guns and loot all inside these prison okay and uh did you get to play test i see that we've got the uh the circles you show up in in the middle in the beginning i love these ones um very fun and yeah, then uh, um this was on the playlist that they had for that had a bunch of battle royales that came out the first day, so it did get a lot of plays on it. And then like that first week, and then it got then it got no plays because they took the playlist away. <laughs> okay. Very cool. All right, we've uh, there's got a, a sixty-one yeah. over here. Little, so area sixty-one, <laughs> fifty-one, fifty-two. So Tic Tac, uh, <laughs> but area one is the name of the map. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Any special secrets or fun things um, in here? <laughs> I mean, there is an underground system here. Oh. Um, so there is a cell that was emptied out, like someone dug through, that you can get to mm -hmm. cross Figures. the water. Under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shawshank Redemption going. Yep. Gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you jump down here. Uh-huh. Go either direction, mm -hmm. towards the base or towards the ghost town. It just takes you away. Cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's another secret over here that connects these two areas. It's like a little mine shaft area. Mm -hmm. Takes you to the other side. Yeah, I like it. It's like uh, the one side has it, and so now this side has it. <laughs> little secrets. I like that. How fun. Okay. Uh, and then a lot of times, though, the problem with this map is uh, sometimes the 
fighting would end in the river. <laughs> so you're in the bottom where it hurts you. But it doesn't hurt you very fast. Okay. You do die down here. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. I like the idea of this. I uh, haven't been in too many of the Battle Royale maps, so um, how many... W this was a competition, right? Uh, not a competition. I just... I did start working on this when I when they announced that Battle Royale was coming to the Sandbox. Okay, all right. So I had I actually finished this in like two or three days, so I can get it ready for the launch day. And then I knew I knew they were making a playlist for it, so I was like, if I can get it done, maybe it can get on there. Oh and yeah. And so I finished it in time. <laughs> yep, yep. And was able to get on that initial playlist. So uh, it, yeah, it was like three nights of just knocking it out. Uh, but. Uh, my the Winterfell one was my second attempt at a battle royale. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. We are uh, nearing towards the end. Of the last few questions of the interview. Um. So, are there any other maps you want to show me? Yeah, I'll take you to maybe one or two more, and then. Cool. I like. I think I have too many maps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so th this is my most popular tag. map as far yes. as as far as like uh, hearts goes. This is my most. Liked I had map. so much fun uh, with this map, and let me tell you how because it's super funny. I didn't play this map. I was actually watching, I think, Weller's stream, and I had so much fun in this map by just being a viewer. Um, you guys watching? are over here. Yes, That's yes, cool. you guys are over here. Like, I, I like three games. Okay, cool. Let's go. And like, yeah, because you you start them in here, um, but then show me the arena. Yeah, so you can go through. I mean, when you start, it spawns you in, but you can go mm -hmm. through the window here. Uh, so. I wish I could control the lighting because one side, unfortunately, has like a more duller look. But if you uh -huh. spawn on this side, everything's like in bright neon for you. So basically, I looked at like three different uh, oh, laser right. tag arenas, and okay. I took like the things I liked the most and kind of just made those things and then placed yep. them. Yeah, it does dull out in but, uh, different I, angles, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to get it so that. I was facing the correct direction where they will both get kind of like half dull, half bright. But yeah, um, but I thought I, I was facing the correct direction to do that, but it ended up I wasn't. So okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not moving the whole map. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I had a lot of fun watching you guys. Uh, I don't know if you were in here when he was playing, but uh, uh, it sure I wasn't like able you guys... to make that. Okay, you guys were having like a hilarious good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Definitely like the high damage on it. It's kind of fun because I have guns that people don't like in here mostly. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of fun if it's high damage. And it's funny because when they first joined, they're like, what is this? Like, what are these guns? And then they realize it's one shot, one kill, and uh -huh. everyone still has a good time. So. Uh huh. Very cool. Um, uh, let's ask you one question while we're here uh, before we go to our next map. Uh, let's do the shout out to the builders that have uh, greatly impacted your experience in Sandbox, that have helped you with your builds, uh, that have kept you company, that have really just uh, kind of inspired you. Let's uh, hear the folks that have been great for you. I mean, like I said with uh, earlier in the venues map, Arms Reach was like the first one I've actually talked to and met out of the builder group and out of you know, all those builders. So. Yeah, he's spent some time with me in the maps, and so shout mm -hmm. out to Arms Reach. Uh, same with Weller, you know, reaching out, and, you know, he spent some time with me in my Quake map. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I, all those guys are, you know, I've been, I, I play with Space Team a lot. Like, pretty nightly, we go through maps. Mm -hmm. um, especially, it's a good place for us to test our maps and give feedback. Like, uh, yeah. Um, those are the guys I'm, I talk to the most or closest with. More cowboy too. Spent some time with him in his maps. But awesome. yeah, shout out to all the all the all the guys there and girls. They're all awesome. They've been really nice. Awesome. Well, 
let's venture on. Where's your next place that you're going to take me? And while you're uh, thinking about that, uh -huh. I'm just going to kind of uh, check out the front of the building here again. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it would be cool to make like a steam, like a place to load into and not just into the, mm -hmm. into the arena. No, it's, it's very accurate, man. You come in here with your, uh, <laughs> your, uh, guy that suits you up and he tells you how much you're going to suck and, uh, hand you your weapons and you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, uh, latest one. It's like a sci-fi lab, I guess you could say. Okay. Ooh, yucky. Ew. Oh my oh my god, DJ. That's what's breathing yeah. on you. Ew. Oh my god, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is ew. I just got goosebumps. Ew. You're never gonna unsee that. <laughs> that was a success for me then. I, I wanted to make it look a little creepy. Yes. Ew. But you're not the first person who's been creeped up. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, but uh, the joke's on you, because that thing came to life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought if I put it in a cage, it won't get out and breathe on me anymore. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, we'll this is a, the weapons lab area. Yeah, it's a giant you know, zone. The giant zone of grenade. And these rockets are made so that people try to pick them up, but they can't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, you did you piece these together? Oh, you did. Yeah. You? So basically, you recreated one of each color. Beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. I don't even know which one I would take. I mean, obviously, the red rocket is the best, <laughs> but there's a freaking purple rocket. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Loving it. But it's funny because on these, uh, they'll try to pick it up and then they'll be stuck here and then you can shoot them while, while they're trying to mm -hmm. pick it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> uh, can you grab these uh, nades like a... here in the middle during game? Oh, yeah. You can grab them during game. Yes. Okay. So there's no nades in your loadout, but you have to come in here to grab nades. Mm -hmm. Do you have like an incinerator tunnel system where you can go down? Oh. <laughs> where do I go? Where do I go? Ah, I got stuck. <laughs> I tell you, man, I'm really good at getting so, stuck on jump pads. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one's challenging to get out of if you know how to get out that way. Like, you mm -hmm. basically have to hit the edge of it. Um, but they're made to kind of go in. So um, the trim on the walls is red for the weapons lab. The trim on the main room is light blue. And the the where the plants are, it's green. So you know which, which tunnel you're going to go into, which Smart. room you'll end up in. Yes, yes. Okay. I like that. Okay. And this is uh, like the botany banana lab, I guess. Trees. <laughs> you got banana trees. <laughs> got, like shield synthesis and heal synthesis. So all the heals are in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shield sodas. Oh, my God. This is great. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> A little greenhouse area, just yeah, all your little seedlings. <laughs> and yeah, this is pretty simple. I just had three rooms spawn on each side of the hallways, and I just want to make like, a sci fi theme. Oh, over here, gotcha. <laughs> Very cool, I love it. Well, we got another uh, question for you. And it's the hardest question of the interview. Right. You know what it is. Go ahead and have a seat at the hot seat. I think seat. I know what's coming. <laughs> All right. Hot seat. Okay. Yep, yep, right there. Okay. <laughs> Who is your favorite builder? Um, I thought about this a long time since I knew you were going to interview me. <laughs> but it, it is a hard question. Uh, I'm going to break it up into like three. Uh, as far as like details and like the whole map overall, and, like just being in awe of what they've been able to create, I think Ask Clown and Dirty Monkey are like my favorite builders as far as like details and you know just the map. Like I, think I told Dirty Monkey today, he's on a different level. Like sometimes you know, like uh, I'm really excited. Like uh, Ask Clown, like the first time I saw one of his maps, I think one of the first maps I saw of his was the temple one, and he has these gold statues. And I'm like, what? Like how? 
I can't even wrap my head around it. And yeah. like, so hats off to them. Um, and I also shout out the space team, like, because we do play a lot together. And uh, and so sometimes we'll make these like crazy maps in like 30 minutes, and but you don't know what they are until you load into the game. So every time he goes, hey, I made a new one. Can we try it? I'm like, oh, what did he come up with today? I'm like so excited to try it. And like, they're so like crazy and wild. Like the where's Waldo or that. There's like yeah. map he made where all the walls are see through. Uh-huh. It's like I don't know what to expect when I game go into the game, and it's just like chaotic fun, and I love those kind of maps. So, yeah, as far as like playability and just fun, I love Space Team's map. So awesome. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> bad right. to answer, but you know, it's so hard. Everyone's so good uh, at what they do, and everyone kind of has like a thing that they're good at, you know. Yeah, and so. I can totally respect the answers that uh, kind of fray off into their own specialties, for sure, because there are, are different things different people like, there's different things you're good at, and there's different things that uh, people actually think are better than the other. So um, each person's going to have such a drastically different answer, because you guys all have different great talents. Um Which brings me to the last question of the interview. It's going to be, uh, what are some of the best experiences you've had in Sandbox? Um, I think it's being able to play, like, the builder's maps with them and, like, seeing what everyone's coming up with. Like, everyone's always making new stuff and, like, hey, like, hey, can we try uh, my new one out and someone else has a new one and like you're so excited to see what they've hooked up um you know and just hearing the feedback and then you know sometimes there's people who aren't builders in the room and just hearing them like have a good time and you know mm-hmm. i do like the you know the community is good and it's it's been fun and just creating maps that people like to play on just so much fun <laughs> for sure Um, You guys are a great group of people putting together a phenomenal playlist for us. I mean, how cool is it to come into a game where you can like literally see new maps every single day? Um, And uh, I know that some of us are a little bit grumpy about the evolving map or the new mode or whatever it is that they're exploring, but they're exploring it for good purpose. They're trying to figure out what works. And that means some of that means bringing us through the fails with them. So let it be. And if you don't like it, come explore Sandbox. Why not? Um, and invite some There's of your friends in. Let's have a game that, yeah. you know, that can be explored. I know a lot of people aren't happy with the, with the map right now, but mm-hmm. there is a whole other side that people like that they've played with, that they've played against, are making stuff. That, That's exactly you know, like, right. Played, like how many rounds like have we played and like i'm trying you know we want to make maps that, that make like a you know good fighting situation so yeah you know if you're not happy come check out some sandbox that's exactly right well dj noel i want to thank you for your time this evening and showing me your beautiful maps uh, including my favorite right. ride from childhood, <laughs> even though there's a swing <laughs> breaking off of it. I mean, <laughs> I'll forgive you. <laughs> uh, I hope to see sure many of your, there. yeah, I hope to see many of your maps, uh, in the future. I hope you finish the ones that you inspire and, uh, we continue to see you grow in different areas as well. So, um, yeah, I want to say have a great evening and, uh, we'll see you. So much. Thanks for having me. Someone's what? Uh, so thanks for having me. Uh, and I appreciate something, it. It's been a lot of fun. Something's patting you? Did you just say something's patting you? Oh, no. I said I appreciate it and it's been fun. <laughs> you were trying to mess with me again and tell me that something was like patting someone's you. Someone's breathing like, on me. Yeah, somebody, someone's <laughs> like, good job. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Thank you for creeping me out officially in Population One. <laughs> DJ, you well, have a I great share night. That joy with others. <laughs> I hope you stay safe and uh, you, nothing you jumps out from the from the shadows. Have a good one. <laughs> I'll try. All right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Another great interview wrapping up, guys. Thank you for joining me in chat on Facebook on twitch you guys are awesome sticking around tonight listening to the content shared watching all of these beautiful maps as they go by um yeah i liked those those were some good ones but some creepy stories ew 
<laughs> um, all right, we're gonna see, uh, let's see here, give you guys some information. We're gonna see who is on playing right now as well as who is next. So uh, I'm going to be off of interviews the next three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and back on Monday where we will see uh, Arms Reach, Provolone, uh, we've got B. Wayne Coleman and Searways. So um, that will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you guys want to join me those days, that would be great. I will be kind of a short vacationing this weekend. And uh, let's see here. I would like to send you over to somebody playing Population 1. If you guys join me long enough through the raid, uh, you will get some extra channel points. So um, at the request that you do so, Hop on board and uh, let's go see. Hmm. Let's go see uh, VIP Ryan today. I met Ryan in um, Vegas. Uh, so uh, he's a great guy, kind of uh, shy in person, but not shy in his stream. So you guys can chat him up. Make sure you drop him a follow, say hello, and I will catch you all on the flip side. I hope you all have a great evening.